Businesses in Ellicott City, Maryland will get some much needed financial help. The SBA Disaster Loan Outreach Center is open today. Loan options are available to businesses and residents to help with rebuilding and recovering the loss of inventory and personal property. Much of historic Ellicott City was destroyed during a monster flood last month. Two people died in that storm when floodwaters washed them away. That loan center, by the way, located at 9400 Frederick Road. Also developing now a state of emergency in Louisiana. Six people are dead after severe flooding there and the death toll is expected to rise. Interstates completely overtaken by water, buildings destroyed and more than 20,000 people have been rescued. Kenneth Moten has the latest. The Bayou State underwater. I to get out. Incredible images of flooding coming out of Louisiana and extraordinary water rescues caught on camera. This woman in Baton Rouge pulled from her sinking car just in the nick of time. More than 30 inches of rain in just a week triggered historic flooding and a state of emergency. At least six people are dead, 20,000 people rescued from the rising waters. Even though it was an unnamed storm, uh, it was historic levels of, of rivers uh, and creeks rising. Uh, and I will tell you that we, we've not seen anything like this in the past. The U.S. Coast Guard is in the air making daring high water rescues. The Louisiana National Guard is on the ground, but more than 200 roads are closed or impassable. We have road closures all across South Louisiana. Uh, the, the water is dangerous uh, in terms of uh, the coverage on the roads. Right now, 12,000 people are in shelters. Many of them grabbed whatever they could. Others escaped with just the clothes on their backs. We tried out the back door. There were spiders. And then we tried out the kitchen. There was a snake. So then we fought through that and then finally got in the car. Tried to leave, but we couldn't. President Obama declared Louisiana a major disaster. The weather is improving, but the rivers continue to rise. Water levels are not expected to recede for two more days. Reporting in Northwest, Kenneth Moten, ABC7 News. Well, we head to Richmond now where the Washington Redskins have wrapped up their summer training camp. The team broke camp this morning in a session that was closed to fans. They ended in a hilarious fashion. A defense of linemen had to catch a punt to end a practice. And after Chris Baker failed, Ricky Jean-Francois Jean was able to catch it. Here's what he had to say about the team's camp. How did you think camp went? Uh, camp went well. Camp, camp was, was better than it was last year. We was uh, far ahead in the playbook. We was far ahead in uh, the teaching and learning. We got a lot to do because being in the first preseason game, we killed ourselves with 17 turnovers. So we got to get better at that, better at that before we go inside the season. But another, another total, it, we had a great, we had a great camp. We had a good camp. All right, did they get the chance to fix those mistakes Friday night versus the New York Jets? Oh, I can't believe it's like, you think football, you think fall, but it's like, it's so hot out there that I don't know what so I'm let's, thinking. Let's figure, it's the 15th of August, right? Yes. So we go 15th of September, October, November, December. So within four months, we get up snow on the ground. Thanks, Doug. That's what I'm here for. Just give me something <laughs> to think about, cool you off. I uh, hope it doesn't happen, but it could. Uh, let's get started with a live look right now at National, our beautiful uh, day. And again, by looking at the image, you'd have no idea what conditions are like out there, but it's hot and humid and becoming more so through this day as well. Uh, here's what we have for you. 91 degrees at Reagan National, 69 degree dew point. That's high, but not nearly as high as the 77 degree dew, more, dew point we had last week. So uh, things are getting better slowly, but we're not out of it yet. Still a lot of heat and humidity today and maybe even a little more humid tomorrow and then things will settle down a little bit later in the week. All right, the numbers right now is the way it feels outside. Feels like 96 at Reagan National, 97 degrees in Richmond, but you get south, feels like 102 degrees at Raleigh, 109 degrees at the Virginia Beach, and feels like 103 at Hatteras. So that's where the core of the heat is. It's going to sneak back northward tomorrow. So for today, highs about 95, feeling like 100 to 105 degrees with some afternoon mountain storms, and some of those could come into our area, the metro area, towards evening hours. And again, it's going to feel warm, heat advisory from 1 o'clock until 7 o'clock this evening. So that's two hours shorter than uh, normally. Now, as far as we have on the radar right now, a couple showers popping up west of Interstate 81. They'll continue to track to the northeast. But later in the afternoon, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I think we're going to be pretty loaded up out here as our future cast indicates with showers and thunderstorms. They'll be tracking southwest to northeast. A few showers could develop a little farther south of the big bend of the Potomac. Then we get towards uh, 9 o'clock tonight. Then it gets a little more interesting. Some of these showers will be in our northern suburbs, and some of them later tonight could uh, roll right through the metro area here 
with a very hot and humid day preceding it. Tomorrow, sunshine in the morning. Then as we get through the day, another chance of some showers and storms in the afternoon. Well, a DC restaurant week starts today, and if you have outdoor dining, I'll look for some later evening showers and storms, but temperatures generally will be a little, a little more bearable outside at 7, 8 o'clock than they were on Friday and Saturday and Sunday at the same time. Our day planner through the day tomorrow, hot and humid, 97 degrees, a stray thunderstorm or two in the afternoon. And then for the next seven days, look at the numbers. It's still August, it's still summer, it's still hot, but we'll get a little bit of a break from the temperatures as we roll through Wednesday, lower 90s, upper 80s on Thursday with some storms as well. A stray storm back in the lower 90s Friday. And this weekend, if it works out, maybe we'll stay in the upper 80s for a change with partly cloudy skies and afternoon showers and thunderstorms. All right, Doug, thank you. Okay. Coming up here on ABC 7 News at noon, technology at your fingertips. A new tattoo that could soon help you control your smart.